everybody. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello everybody. How do you do? How do you do today? How are you today? I hope you have two thumbs up, but maybe you might have one thumb up, one thumb down, or two thumbs down. That's okay. I'm really glad you're here, and I hope you can get cozy while you watch this circle time. I have the letter X to teach you today. I'm going to skip the weather, and I'm going to go right to the letter X today. This is about X the fox. Let's hear what happens. Somebody comes to see X the fox. Alex hurt his leg while using an axe, so he went to see X the fox, an excellent doctor. Alex had to stand behind a black box so X the fox could get an exact x-ray of his leg. X, X, X is the sound the x-ray machine made when X the fox took the x-ray picture. X, 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 X the fox took another x-ray. X, 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 he took one more x-ray. X the fox had to take three excellent x-rays to see if Alex broke his leg. Afterwards, Alex had to go home and relax his leg for an extra long time. Oh my goodness, poor Alex, but good thing he had X the Fox. So we're going to take an x-ray picture just like X the Fox. So you're going to take your two pointer fingers like this and make them a little camera, and your thumbs will be at the bottom of the camera. And then when you say the sound that letter X makes, you'll say X, 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 and take a picture just like X the fox did for the x-ray. X, X, X. And there are actually two sounds that letter X makes, which is kind of tricky. So X, like in x-ray, or in the end of fox. X. Also the sound Z, like in xylophone. So we could really take an x-ray picture and say X, Z, X, Z. And it's very simple to draw a letter X because you can see here that I drew one. You just take two lines and you crisscross them. So you, for the uppercase X, it's the same as the lowercase X. Here's our lowercase X. Start in the corner and crisscross to make an X. After the video, you can go try it and see how you can make an X. You could also make an X with your fingers or your arms. And I bet you you're going to see a lot of X's all around now that we've practiced this letter X. I'm going to read you a special book today called Birds. I love this book. But before I read this book, I want to teach you a new song. And it talks a little bit about birds. It goes like this. In the leafy tree tops, the birds sing good morning. They're first to see the sun, they must tell everyone. In the leafy tree top. The birds sing good morning. Okay, now you try with me. Are you ready? Can you make your arms like a tree? Here we go. In the leafy tree tops, the birds sing good morning. They're first to see the sun. They must tell everyone. In the leafy tree tops, the birds sing good morning. Isn't that a nice song? Have you guys heard the the birds sing good morning because I have been hearing them a lot. At the end of our circle time, I'll take you outside and show you how the trees are all blossoming and the birds love it. They are up bright and early as soon as they see the sun and they are singing and I can hear them from my bedroom. So you tell me, can you hear the birds in the morning? Do they wake you up? They might, they're kind of noisy. Let's go ahead and read our book. This is called Birds by Kevin Hankey, illustrated by Laura Dronzik. And look at these beautiful illustrations that Laura drew. It looks like she might have painted them, maybe drawn a little. We have a yellow bird on the front, a blue bird, and a red bird. And it looks like they might be in a tree or a bush, right? I think that we can tell by the title of the book, Birds, and by all the birds in the trees, that this book is definitely going to talk about birds. Have you guys been watching for birds out your window? There are so many. 
I love to see them flying all around. Alrighty. Birds. Oh, blossoms just like are happening on our trees outside. And here's our title page, Birds by Kevin Hankies, illustrated by Laura Dronzik. In the morning, I hear birds singing through the open window. Just like I talked about. Birds can be yellow or blue or brown or red or even green, I think. Sometimes they are so black that you can't see their eyes or their feathers, just their shapes. Birds can be big or little or any size in between. Once I saw seven birds on the telephone wire. They didn't move, and they didn't move, and they didn't move. I looked away for just a second, and they were gone. If birds made marks with their tail feathers when they flew, Think what the sky would look like. Wouldn't that be amazing? If clouds were birds, the sky would look like this. Or this. Sometimes in winter, a bird in a tree looks like one red leaf left over. If there are lots of birds in one tree and they all fly away, at the same time, it looks like the tree yelled. Surprise! <laughs> if I were a bird, I'd ask where all the other birds go when it's stormy and they can't get home to their nests. I wonder. I like to pretend I'm a bird. I can't really fly, but I can do this. I can sing. Can you sing too? Let's sing. In the leafy tree tops, the birds sing good morning. They're first to see the sun. They must tell everyone. In the leafy tree top, the birds sing good morning. Just like the birds in our book. So I want to show you an activity that you could do that goes along with this book. Inside the book, one of my favorite parts is when it says, we're going to flip back through. And I love this part. Do you remember what it said about the birds? It said, if birds made marks with their tail feathers when they flew, think what the sky would look like. It would be so beautiful, wouldn't it? We would see yellow, and we'd see some orange and white and black and green all through the sky. So I want you to remember what this looks like and think about the beautiful illustrations that this this Laura Dronzik painted and I want you to try to do the same thing. So all you need is some colors like crayons or markers and a piece of paper and you can try and make the tail feather lines in the sky. So I see a lot of bluebirds around here so I'm going to start by making a bluebird squiggly line. And this is where my bluebird is flying, all around the sky. But not just a bluebird, I saw a yellow bird too. So I'm going to add a yellow bird flying through the sky. Look how pretty my sky looks. 
Maybe we might see a green bird and a green bird might fly all around where the yellow and the blue are flying. Look at all my squiggles. It's like the birds were flying all over. What if I saw a red bird? Ooh, that would be bright and pretty. So you can add any colors you want until your sky is full of evidence from the birds. And like Miss Sammy taught us, usually bird evidence is bird scat you might see on the ground, or maybe a nest up in the tree or like one friend told me that they found a nest on the ground. So if it fell down, those are some evidence from birds. But this is pretend. If we pretend that we see all the colors of the birds and they leave a line through the sky, we're gonna make a picture like that. And if you wanna add the word birds to your picture, starts with a B and you can write birds, B, I-R-D-S. I want you to go try this at home. And now I'm gonna take you outside and show you how pretty the trees that the birds are hanging out in are. So come on out. See, look how beautiful the trees at school are. Every time I walk outside, I can't believe how gorgeous they are. Have you seen blossoms in your neighborhood? I think the birds like these trees a lot. And remember our song? I looked out the window and what did I see? Pops corn popping on the apricot tree. Spring has brought me such a nice surprise. Blossoms popping right before my eyes. I could take an armful and make a tree. A popcorn ball that would smell so sweet. It wasn't really so. But it seemed to be blossoms popping on the apricot tree. So that is what this song is talking about. These beautiful fluffy trees that look like popcorn. I want to give you one more activity before we go. Did you see on Miss Sammy's video how she had homemade binoculars? Well, if you guys were at school when we were learning about birds, we would have made some of these. And I think you could do it at home because you just have to have a roll, an old roll from paper towels or some toilet paper rolls and you can have a grown-up staple them or glue them together and then the best part is you can take some markers and you can make them your own and you can color on them, you can write your name and decorate them and then when you look outside to watch for birds you can really zoom in on the birds with your binoculars. If you want to get really crafty, you could have a grown-up help you add strings to it so it can hang around your neck. So I want you to go try that and try making the beautiful swirls with the birds, and I will see you soon. I love you all. Goodbye!